I got to wake up pretty fresh because today we're not messing around. We're going straight to the track. First day that I've had this car on the road. Uh, yesterday we did, okay, we did have a quick drive around but then I parked it overnight at MVN to let the uh, paint protection film settle. And then today we're immersing ourselves 100% full chat in the Dubai supercar culture by going to a track day. On day one, I like the idea of this. Now, I'm not sure if you're a regular subscriber to this channel or not, but it seems to me that it's... <laughs> it's so good to be back in this thing. Let me close the window so you can hear what I'm saying. Uh, yeah, if you watch this channel regularly, you'll know that it became a bit of a running joke that it's not a Mr. JWW video if it isn't raining. Well, I mean, I'm, I don't want to jinx this, but there is pretty thick cloud cover in Dubai. Now, to give that a bit of context, apparently they have like a week's worth of rain a year and maybe some clouds. The last time I was here, which was literally two weeks ago, I was here for four days and for two of them it rained. In the desert, man! So I don't know, I literally don't know what's going on with me, but um, I'm not complaining. I'm just happy to be here. We're going to hit the track and check out the supercar culture that is in Dubai and we're already in tow with GT3 RS up front, AMG GTC behind, accompanied by a Huracan Performante. It's a good morning. So there we have it. 
First time, first time out on the Dubai Autodrome. In my, I'm still getting to grips with the fact that I've got my own car here from the UK. Every now and again it dawns on me and I'm like, is this actually happening? Like, you know? I think when I'm older and I look back on photographs of this, of this tour, I think it's going to be quite a special moment. There's always this weird sort of realization I have a while after I've done crazy things, you sort of tend to appreciate it more after the event. So what I'm tr trying to make a point of this year is very much absorbing the moment as it happens because these things, they come and go. It's not until you start to look back on events that you really appreciate it and think, wow, that actually happened and what a great time it was. So yes, important. If you're doing anything special in your life, cherish the moment while it's actually happening. Just take a few minutes to just step back and absorb it because these things are fleeting and they're gone like that. Anyway, back to the pits. Let's see what other funky stuff is hanging around. All right, back from the first laps. Um, unique traits to Dubai, things that we generally don't have to deal with in England, is the amount of dust and sand in the atmosphere. Uh, I fear when I get back from this trip, my my whole uh, air filter will have to be changed, but just check this out. Look at this in the, the engine bay. Look at all that sand. Look at this. That's just from a few laps. It's all down here, all around the engine bay. Also, I mean, it, it's more of a standout on this Porsche, but look, the amount of sand that collects on the inside of the wheels is crazy. Speaking of this Porsche, I've just been speaking with the, the gentleman that owns it. I didn't realize at first, but he's had so much aftermarket carbon on it, and it looks fantastic. Now, um, I've been incredibly fortunate to be able to get a build slot on a Gen 2 GT3. And one of the features that I would love to upgrade, so this is a Gen 1, 991 GT3 RS, but on the Gen 2 uh, GT3, if you can picture it, there's two air intakes here, just there and there. They currently come in standard plastic, but I would love to be able to upgrade to carbon like this. And this guy has had satin carbon everywhere. Look, strut mounts for the wing, end plates, all of the external plastic that is on, that was typically on a standard car, everything, even these air in intake trims, satin carbon, carbon here. These are beautiful. The arch louvers in carbon. You know, on a photograph you might not see it, but in person the detail stands out so much. Even the front, the front splitter, carbon. But the big stuff, the big stuff is on, on the inside. Now check the detail in here, look. All of this has been swapped out for satin carbon. Even the little inner plates here on the wheel, transmission tunnel, all the way over on the top of the glove box, everything. This guy's hardcore about track times as well. He was telling me that today he beat his, his own lap record, so well done. Yeah, it's absolutely stunning. Anyway, I'm gonna find out the company that provided this carbon. Uh, if I don't find out in time for this video, I will uh, surely be posting it when, uh, when I come to doing some specs with the Gen 2 GT3, because I'd like some aftermarket carbon on there, but look at this. All right, short, but incredibly sweet. That was just a morning track day, so it was nine until 12. What an amazing way to kickstart your Thursday. But now we're heading back into town. I'm heading in with uh, some of the guys who joined us at the uh, track day this morning, uh, and they've promised me some exceptional food, potentially, fantastic burger and I'm always partial to a burger uh, also it's the first time that I'm gonna take the speciali into actual downtown Dubai so hopefully we're gonna get some uh, some shots of the car some actual photography in amongst the incredibly contemporary architecture that is the city of Dubai
can eat it as well. You can eat it as well. I'm not sure what to be, where to begin with this. It's a good old one. Dude, I'm gonna, there's a burger coming after this. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Ridiculous lunch gun. I have never seen casual. My car just happens to be here on time. Um, never in my days have I seen a milkshake like that. Only drank like 1% of it. How are you doing, dude? All good. Thanks. 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 Thank you very much. Cheers. We flew it from England. Yeah, we flew it over from England. I uh, came over on uh, the 24th. 24th. So it's been here a few weeks. And now we're going to tour. It's an Dubai, it's Dubai, though. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, so. And then at the end of the month, we're going to fly back to uh, England. End of the month. End of the month. Yeah. Cool. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Once again, everyone's super friendly. Um, let me just turn this down. Yeah, that was a ridiculous uh, lunch. Ridiculous. Not only was the burger amazing, but uh, that milkshake, I have never quite seen anything like that in all my time. It was absolutely ridiculous. Now then, the uh, car's pretty filthy from the track day, so we're gonna head back to MVN, wash down, and then uh, the owner of MVN has a special treat for me to borrow that goes on my left wrist. Let's do it. Back at NBN, <clears throat> graced with a fine cup of uh, Earl Grey and none less than a Ferrari mug. So, let's see what's going on. Mm. Surprise, surprise, more new cars in. The influx of stock in this place, relentless, but constantly entertaining. Now, one car I spotted downstairs, which we'll have to talk about, um, is a Grigio Silverstone 458 Speciale. The relevance of that is, and again, I know I say this all the time, but if you follow this channel regularly, uh, you might know that my very first car to debut on the show, ooh, check it out, was a Grigio Silverstone 458 Speciale. Now, I often get asked the question, do you prefer the color of my Speciale now, which is Rosso Fiorano, or the original color, which was gray, Grigio Silverstone. Well, as the case may have it, we just so happen to have Grigio Silverstone 458 parked directly opposite my current 458 Speciale. So you tell me, what do you prefer? Here we are, mine was exactly like this, other than it had the racing stripe down the center. Uh, and here we are, let me, just, let me just put this down so we can see the color a little better and there's the red so you know ultimately these things are completely personal preference my answer when people ask me which I prefer the fact is over those years my tastes have just changed and now when I'm around a supercar I want it to be as much of a sense of occasion as it possibly can be and I think the brighter the color like the more bold it is generally more of a sense of occasion I find it anyway so while Silverstone is timeless and classy, red, particularly this red, it's not a super in your face red, it's more cherry, so it's a bit you know, toned down, but in the sun it pops. So for me right now, where my tastes are at, I currently prefer the red, but let's face it, they're both insane. And it's really rare to have a Speciale without any stripe on it. So two identical cars, different colors, no stripe. What are the chances? particularly considering that I get asked like that question a lot. Comments below, which do you prefer? What a day. So, we're gonna conclude with something very special. Um, so, NVN are the initials of the partners within the group. One of the N's has very kindly lent me a very special Ferrari edition Hublot watch. Now this is really significant because they only made 500 of these and it was the first watch that they put their Unico movement into. But what's really cool is he was like, look, you've got your Ferrari here in Dubai. The chances are that's never gonna happen again. 
we were talking watches and he said, just borrow it, just take it, see what you think, wear it. The significance of it is gold, by convention, is a soft material and it scratches easily. So when you're wearing a gold watch, oftentimes it can get battered pretty quickly. So Hublot, being the pioneers in exotic materials that they are, decided to develop a system where they could blend gold and ceramic together which is why it actually doesn't look like a typical gold gold shade but as, as a result it's basically scratch resistant which is really cool and it's sort of made this really interesting finish together with that it's sandwiching carbon fiber and the back of it basically has a Ferrari 458 wheel. I also love the dial on the front right, which replicates the rev counter on the 458. And so yeah, tomorrow I'm on a big drive with a supercar club. Please tune in for that because we're taking 75 supercars up Jebel J's for the extended full run. And we are also guests of the ruler of Braz Al Khaima towards the end of the day for dinner. So I don't know what's going on with life right now. The stuff that comes out of my mouth, is getting beyond real. So um, yeah, tomorrow should be interesting. As a result, in order to quite literally set this moment in time, I'm going to, with honor, wear this very special watch tomorrow on that journey. So very special times indeed. Right, I'm gonna take that opportunity to call it a day. Sun is setting. I'm gonna go back to the hotel and edit the very video you're watching now. And then tomorrow, early start, we're meeting at Lamborghini, which is just off Sheikh Zayed Road and that's when it's all gonna kick off. So, as always, thanks for watching. See you next time. Ciao. Oh!